Hey what's going on guys and girls, in today's video I'll be going over the exact steps that you need to follow if you would like to build a 6 or 7 figure SaaS company. Now a little bit of a disclaimer on this channel, I only like to speak about things that I actually have experience in or things that I've actually done. Now I haven't built a 6 or 7 figure SaaS company as yet, but I do have a lot of experience in the software as a service space. I've generated over $150,000 in sales for various SaaS companies. And I have a dedicated second YouTube channel in which I go over a variety of different SaaS companies, I do reviews of them, and I show people how to make money using those SaaS companies. So I definitely do have some experience in this space, and in today's video, I'll be showing you some methods and steps in which I would take if I were to go out and build a six or seven figure SaaS company today. The first thing that you'll need to figure out when you're first starting a SaaS company is what is going to be your flagship product. When deciding on which software or tool that you'll create, there's a lot of different directions in which you can go with, but I recommend just first thinking about what niche or what industry you'll be creating a software for, and then identify a specific problem within that space, and then think about what unique solution you can create within that space. There's literally hundreds of different tools and softwares and niches in which you can choose from and that can be very overwhelming. So I would recommend that you think about a product or service in which you can create that hasn't been done before, but you know will be something that people would like to have in the future. And what I've noticed is that over the past couple of months, they've been a huge influx in popularity in AI tools and softwares. I would recommend that you find yourself within that space and build a niche AI based tool or software. Currently, the most popular types of AI tools are AI image generators, AI copywriters and AI chat boxes. The reason why I really like AI tools and softwares is that they're fairly new, they're very trendy and there's not a lot of competition in the market. So even if you don't have much experience building SaaS companies, you can go out and create a really good AI based tool or software. And once you do the marketing correctly and you really develop the product, you have a good chance of building that company into a six or seven figure plus company. In the past couple of months, there've been a lot of companies that were able to do this. So think of companies such as Word Hero, Closures Copy, Jasper AI, Writer AI, Right Sonic, etc. These are all SaaS companies that are built on specific AI language models. And the craziest part is that most of them only use one to two of the same AI language models. There's two main AI language models, both created by the same company called OpenAI. And the two language models are ChatGPT, which is the most recent language model, and GPT-3. Now GPT-3 or GPT-3.5 is the main language model that allows AI copywriters to be able to generate both short and long form copy. So essentially OpenAI has created these language models and they've made the API open so software developers can go in, they can fine tune that AI, they can improve the AI and create their own unique templates. So that's what Jasper AI, Write Sonic, Brainwork, Word Hero, Writer AI, and Scalenut have all done. They've just fine tuned and improved the existing API language models created by OpenAI, and then they've rebranded it under their own uh, specific name and their own company names and marketed that and been able to grow and get more customers and increase the value of their software service companies. So there's definitely some competition if you're trying to create an AI copywriter because you'll be going against companies such as Jasper AI, Scalenut, Word Hero, Writer AI, and so on. And these are very popular AI copywriting companies and they also have pretty big budgets because they've been able uh, to get a lot of customers early on and they've been able um, to use that to really improve their marketing. So it would be hard for you as a small uh, startup to go against them. But as I mentioned earlier, there's a second um, AI model that's just been released by OpenAI, which is ChatGPT. Now ChatGPT is a little bit different from GPT-3 because it allows you to have more of a conversation with the AI. You can use ChatGPT to have a conversation with the AI, go back and forth, and the AI will remember every single thing that you talked about within that conversation. And it'll be able to not just only generate short or long form content, it'll also be able to do things such as write code, fix existing code. You can ask it to write jokes. You can ask it to write songs. You can also ask it to write short or a long form content such as sales copy, YouTube scripts. You can also ask it to write long form blog posts. So essentially it has all of the features included in chat GPT but it also has some really unique features included. 
there's a lot of opportunity in creating a SaaS company that is fueled by ChatGPT. And that's because, as I mentioned, ChatGPT has so much more use cases compared to GPT-3. Not only are you able to generate short and long form copy, such as blog posts, YouTube scripts, Facebook ads, you're also able to write unique and custom code, and you're also able to edit code. You can write a workout plan, you can write a diet plan, Essentially anything you can imagine, you can ask ChatGPT to generate it and it will generate that content for you. So if I were to create a SaaS company today, that is what I would focus on. I would focus on creating a SaaS company that's fueled by ChatGPT and I will market it as an all-in-one AI assistant that you have access to 24-7 that will create any type of content that you ask. So now that you have an idea as to your product and what type of SaaS company you'll be creating, next you have to go out and try to find some high quality software engineers to work with. And there's a couple of different ways in which you can go about doing so. The first and easiest method is to head over to LinkedIn and search up for software engineers and get in contact with some people, let them know the project in which you're working on and see what type of partnership you can agree upon. You can also use some marketplaces to find some high quality software engineers and coders. So lemon.io is a fairly good marketplace in which you can uh, find some really high quality software engineers. You can also use Ravello, which is another marketplace that allows you to hire software engineers that are pre-screened for technical and cultural fit. So again, you get some really high quality candidates there, or you can use Upwork, create a project, and then screen through the software engineers or coders that get back to you for that specific product. So once you have your idea and your team, now it's time to create your minimal viable product or your MVP product. So essentially this is going to be the first iteration of the product in which you'll be bringing to the market. So I wouldn't spend too much time on creating this product. You wanna make sure that it has um, sort of the main features in which you would like to have for that specific tool. And then you wanna go ahead and get it to market as soon as possible. You don't wanna spend too much money um, before you actually implement it because you wanna make sure that this is a right fit for the market and you can always make any changes that you need down the line. So now that you've created your MVP, it's time for the most important part of building your SaaS company, which is going to be marketing. There's a couple of different marketing channels in which you can choose uh, to implement when you're first starting your company. But in my experience and what I've seen other popular AI-based SaaS companies do when they're first starting out is that they focus on affiliates. Affiliates are great because they cost you nothing upfront and they go out and promote your product or service for you. So essentially you will go out and create an affiliate program and you'll decide what percentage of the sale you'll give to that affiliate. And most of the times because um, SaaS companies do have a monthly price, you can also offer a reoccurring commission payment. And that incentivizes the affiliates a lot more because they'll get paid each time the customer renews their monthly membership with that SaaS company. So at the beginning, affiliates will be a big revenue driver for any SaaS company. I've seen this to be true with Jasper AI, with Word Hero, and with some of the other popular AI copywriters when they first came out, they had really aggressive affiliate programs and some of them offered up to 40% reoccurring commissions for affiliates. So instead of wasting money on paid advertisement, when you're not sure if you're even going to make that money back, you're able um, to have a fixed cost for affiliates and they'll bring you in new customers. The second effective strategy that I saw a lot of AI copywriters and AI image generators use is to have a launch on AppSumo. If you're unfamiliar with what AppSumo is, it's a lifetime deal platform. So essentially it has limited time offers for tools and softwares. And it has a lot of customers that are already in the shopping mood looking to buy new tools and softwares. So if you're a startup or you really don't have that much of a following, you can head over to AppSumo, you can run a marketing campaign with them, you can do a launch and because they have millions of people always shopping around for tools and software, you can be on their email list. Um, they can also promote you on their homepage and you can get an influx of uh, new customers that will get access to your product or service. You can get some feedback from them and iterate and then uh, improve your tool or software. And after you've done a couple of launches on AppSumo, you can then move over from AppSumo over to your own website because you don't really wanna rely on AppSumo because people are usually always looking for a deal or a discount. But nevertheless, it's still a really, really great marketing strategy to start 
when you're first launching your SaaS company. So that's exactly what I would do to start and grow a six or seven figure SaaS company today. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions as to any of the content in which I explained in this video today. And also let me know in the comments below if you have any other video topics that you would like me to make a video about. As always, I hope that you got some value from this video. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.